the Grammy <laughs> Awards <laughs> last night featured some truly amazing performances, which Brian wanted to tell you about. Pink is going to get dizzy there. Uh, Michael Tamaro is out in Los Angeles with the inside scoop on what went down in Grammy Town. Good morning to you, Michael. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Doing okay. So what'd you think? Well, it was a big night last night. You know, the big winners were the Robots Ruled, music's biggest night. That just sounds so strange to say it, but that's <laughs> what they are. Daft Punk, the, the French techno duo, took home the two top prizes last night for best album and best record. The other big winner last night was... Uh, uh, rap duo Macklemore and Lewis uh, won Best uh, New Artist and took home three other additional Grammys for rap. You know, and kudos to them because they did so without being signed to a label. They did it independently and it was really fan driven and they've been really putting on a, a kind of a, a tolerant face to a, a genre of music, rap and hip hop, that has been anything but. Um, but, you know, more so than the awards and the speeches, the Grammys are known for the performances and the mashups. And last night, there were plenty of them between Beyonce and Jay-Z opening up. And then also later on, Macklemore and Lewis and Madonna. And also these guys, Chicago, they were invited by Robin Thicke to come on and perform Blurred Lines. So then it's their first appearance at the Grammys in 22 years. And this is what they had to say. We caught up with them on the red carpet. This is uh, the Super Bowl of the music industry, and to be here live uh, is really a fantastic experience. It's something that any artist would give anything to be part of. When we won our Grammy in the 70s, we were in Europe and we accepted over the phone. So this is our really our second time here in, in quite a while. <laughs> Schools are always traveling. Yeah, <laughs> They've been right. too busy to go to the Grammys. Michael, here's what I don't get. Chicago sounded great. It made total sense to have him sit in with him. I don't understand how Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney get together and they don't <laughs> sing a Beatles song. Why, why, do we, why did you allow well, here's that? The <laughs> They're trying to keep it fresh and relevant. You know, the, the thing about this year is they had three weeks to pull this production together because of the Olympics. It was pushed up from February to January and they lost two weeks. Uh, because of the holiday. And here's the thing, while uh, executive producer Ken Ehrlich was producing the Grammys, he was also producing a Beatles special, which is being taped tonight to com uh, commemorate the 50th anniversary okay. of the Beatles so appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show. So they're saving it, Brian. You're going to have to tune in later this week. Just another right. good reason to watch the other special. But your instincts are on point. Yeah. And who knew that the Grammys are really the Crammies? They know this so much. <laughs> it's true. I didn't realize right. that. <laughs> Michael Tamara spending another all-nighter out there in Tinseltown. Michael, thank you very much. Job well done. Just for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You're a good man. Thanks, Michael.